Before my Pixel 9 Pro Fold had even shipped, I had already gone to dbrand and ordered the skin that I felt like no matter how many cases I tested for that device, I would probably arrive back at, and that is the real leather skin. You can see they have all manner of different skins to choose from, but this is the one that I just, I felt like I was going to fall back to, and that's because that's what had happened with the original Pixel Fold. I had kind of fallen in love with that look and that texture. The, that leather skin is just really, really good. Now, it's not super cheap. $34.95 for a skin is definitely a little bit expensive. But when you compare it to some of the other skins on the market from companies like Soapy Guard that don't use real leather, there is a really big difference. And once I got used to just doing this and not having a big bulky case on, I don't typically drop my phones. I know some of you want a bulky case to protect your investment, and I understand that. But once I'd gotten used to this, I just really felt like that's where I was going to wind up with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. So I ordered it way back, like I said, before the thing had even shipped, before the phone had even shipped to anybody. August the 15th, and the skin finally has arrived. I don't know what took so long for dbrand to ship at this time, but it took forever. I actually emailed him asking for clarification on when it was shipping, and I got nothing in return, so it took forever. The customer support was not great, but it's here. We're going to install it and see what it's like. All right, so we have the dbrand leather skin finally, finally delivered. Looks pretty solid. I have had one before that had kind of an imperfection to it, but this looks, I think, pretty decent. You can see here up close sort of how it's going to age, what it will look like slowly over time. Yes, these were the same color when they started, but they don't stay that way for very long. This is a skin from Soapy Guard that I put on sort of in the interim, and I don't think that I can preserve this. I don't think it matters even if I can, but I'm going to try to peel it off and place it back on there just in case. Just so you can kind of get a good look at this skin though before I do that. You can see that that area next to uh, the hinge area, you can kind of see that line where that sits. It's very, very thin, really does not add a whole lot in terms of, of thickness at all. It's actually thinner than your normal D-brand skin. It did add a little bit of grip to it. I've actually been using this phone just like this with no case for the last couple of days, and it's really not been too bad. And I'm really hopeful because of that, that with this leather skin, a bit more grip, then I'm just going to be happy to do that just like I did with the original Pixel Fold. It looks like, shockingly, that did kind of peel off fairly easily. So I'm going to try to, again, I don't know why I'm really doing this because I'm not likely to, <laughs> to go back to it, but I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I should try to preserve it. I should try to save it. So that's what I'm going to do. Good enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the D-Brand leather skin now. This is obviously a lot thicker than like a normal skin would be because it is leather. Installation should be pretty easy with a camera bump this large. You can really just use the camera bump as a guide and then you can use your little Google symbol there for the other guide. All right, so that wasn't too bad at all. I feel like the fit is pretty solid. One thing that I am noticing though is that it's not trying to cover this area sort of next to the back on the hinge side like the Soapy Guard skin was. I do have the bit that actually covers the camera bump as well, but I, I never end up using that. I don't know. I just don't think that that looks too good. I like the contrast. I'm not actually going to install that. Definitely adding some grip. Now, when you install this thing, you're going to notice at first that sort of the edge is a little bit, maybe you would say almost sharp in a way, but over time it will wear down and it will become very, very soft. So that is something that is only temporary. I've said before that I'm not a huge fan of the appearance of the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. I think that the original Pixel Fold was just a more aesthetically pleasing device, but I do have to admit with the leather skin back on there, I think that it's looking pretty decent now. Now with the Soapy Guard skin being thinner, I was actually able to put a case on over top of it. So we will go ahead and test that with this leather skin. It is obviously thicker, so I'm kind of skeptical as to how well this is going to work. This is the Pitaka Aramid Fiber case. 
And it's going on, but it's definitely not fitting well. There's a bit of a gap up here at the top where it's just not seating all the way on. And it came off pretty darn easily. Let's try the official Google case as well. We'll see since it's more rigid plastic, would it be able to snap on if you wanted to change the look a little bit? Eh, it's kind of the same situation. It's not quite going all the way on. So this is an all or nothing affair. You're probably not going to be fitting another case on top of it. Once you put it on, you have committed yourself to this leather skin. Although there is some good news. I have been able to, in different occasions, peel this thing off, stick it back on the paper, and then put it back on later. I've actually transferred one from one phone to another when I had a like a warranty replacement type situation. They are fairly durable uh, in that respect. But overall, I think that this looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I wish that it had to have shipped about a month and a half ago, but I'm glad that it's finally here. And I think that this is the direction I'm going to go. You're probably going to see going forward that this is what my Pixel 9 Pro Fold will look like. I will put a link in the description to this skin. It is not an affiliate link because dbrand uh, does not apparently want to work with me. So it is just a regular link. You can click it and uh, buy it that way. I'll also put a link uh, to the soapy guard skin as well in case you want to go that route same thing there not an affiliate link at least as far as i can recall thanks for watching subscribe for more content like this and until next time stay nerdy my friends